Y'all want to know when you or how you would know it's an election year? Right there. That's it. Got wood? It's a joke. I am heading to the scrapyard. Taking some more time off, using up that PTO I've accumulated. So, uh, since I was off, Dennis had to get his button gear and collect some more, uh, collect another load. It's not a full load, but we got a few things back there. Um, it's one of the lighter loads I've actually seen for a while as far as, because you know how his trucks normally look. You'll see it, but it's, uh, it's got some appliances. Uh, it's got a small water heater and but the good thing is we have some non-ferrous to go in, so that ought to help offset the lighter load. Um, he already had a bucket, uh, maybe a third of a bucket of wire, not the greatest. Got some brass, though, sitting here. And the good news is we've got a nice uh, little collection of copper, some that he got off of. I think he went down. He had gotten a call from some of his apartment complexes down south and um, so he was able to go down there and collect some things and apparently some of this are uh, AC units so he got some copper off of that at least I'm thinking that's what it's from I'm not sure and luckily our next door neighbor the one that we got the bathtub from um, also left us a nice little bit of copper so I happened to go over there this morning just to grab a dolly and noticed it sitting there and I thought oh yay we can add that to the collection and beef up this load a bit so I'm heading there now and obviously uh, you'll go along with that uh, drop off and the inside non-ferrous stuff and see what we do see you soon let's drop off these rotors I don't have that many
Okay. Now we've got to go sit in that ungodly line again. Oh well. Well, I'm sitting in the traffic jam from hell. There's got to be... I have no idea how many trucks in front of me. I get up and show you. Can you all see? We got... I'm going to guess... Somewhere maybe 10 in front of me. And I don't know if they're gonna start backing up behind me before you know it. But yeah. I asked Crystal. I said, does Brian know what's going on up here? She goes, Oh, he's got a camera, he should. I don't know what he can do exactly. The problem is they're unloading one truck at a time. That's the problem. But man, they're still coming in. There's three at the scale. So yeah, it's gonna be a little while. I did the rotors first, so just waiting for that unclean air and drop. We'll get there eventually. They are busy, busy, busy. bucket to stand on because of course I don't have my ladder. This is high now. Gosh, guys, I don't know what you can see.
Okay. Up here doesn't collapse. How'd it get? There you go. Good Good bucket. Still lying, as you can see. A little crazy. A little crazy. It's way out, guys. They're still. Like I said, I had at least seven or seven to eight in front of me. There are one, two, three, four, five, I think about six waiting in line. One just went in. Yeah. Now I will say this. They cleaned it up a bit with the crane and then they went from bringing in one truck to bring it in four and they keep on to come in the hits still keep coming but uh, yeah so there's probably gonna be a line inside for crystal too poor thing but I'm sure this is a combination of the afternoon rush which does happen and then shutting down Hamilton which just uh, could create a crazy backlog so I don't know I don't know what it's gonna be like coming here from this moment forward but we're gonna find out don't want to give up those going bucks and pay time we had 11 pounds of mixed brass dollar five a pound paying 11.55 four pounds of yellow brass at a dollar 45 a pound paying 580 160 pounds of the rotors at 185 a net ton paying 1480 46 pound compressor at 12 cents a pound paying 552 we had 600 pounds of unclean iron i was surprised it was that much to be honest with you uh 165 a net ton paying 49.50 and six pounds of the number two insulated copper at a dollar five a pound paying six dollars and thirty cents and where is the copper all right crew um i'm gonna pick up somewhat where i left off as you can see i'm no longer in the truck i'm at home throwing the ball for gretchen but i noticed an issue on the uh weigh and pay receipt it was like okay where's the copper so I went back in and I think I got to the very bottom with the six pounds of number two wire paying 630 but instead of ninety three dollars and forty seven cents we have added ten pounds of number one copper at 295 a pound for 2950 for a grand total of 122 I'm sorry I should be pointing down 12297 um yeah i couldn't find i knew i'd brought in all that copper i think i mentioned it earlier our neighbor brought some over we had some from that he was able to take out of some uh, different units and as i was reading this i went uh where's the copper so i went back in and as they always do brian and crystal took care of us um they have a a guy in the drive through that um He's newer and he just made a mistake that's all so he added the 10 pounds for me and that took it up to 122.97 for the truck which is a lot better than the 93 obviously so we're pretty happy with that on this load that really didn't I, I mean again I was surprised I had 600 pounds of weight on it uh, just with the unclean iron but oh, oh that was a bad throw anyway obviously we'll be back to scrapping over the weekend um, I think Dennis will be in Kentucky scrapping this weekend. 
so hopefully he normally has pretty good luck down there so uh i would imagine <laughs> correction i would imagine he'll have a a nice little truckload or two put together for tuesday so he will catch back up with you this weekend and i hope you guys have a great day talk to you later